Hello everyone, this is Roxy. Still sick. Ugh, I hate it. This is the longest cold I've ever had, or whatever it is. I used to get bronchitis every year in junior high and high school. Like around this, not, yeah, it was always around springtime like this. So, I don't know if it's that or what, but anywho, enough about me being sick. Um, I did get out last night. I forced myself, put on my winter coat and hats and mittens, because it is still kind of cold here. And I forced myself to go to our favorite thrift store because it was having a half-off sale. And we haven't been to one for a couple months. Well, at least, yeah, it's been a couple months because we miss them. You know, miss them as in can't go. So I, I trooped out like a trooper. Stormed out like a trooper. Um, okay, so this was $2.00. And I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm purging stamps like crazy. But guess what? I bought some new ones. I don't know who put these stamps. I mean, it's like put this on first, where you're supposed to, and then put, or whatever. I mean, it's like, isn't that weird that they... Anyways, I digress. Cute little set at... This is from 1998, and I know, I kind of, I really like the primitive style, still, I know I'm kind of, like, you know, get with the party. Look at these cute little eggs, put right on the nest. Let's see, they put their stamps on wonky. And then a cute little bird. I don't know what step this is called. Little bird branch. I'm not sure where you would put it. I suppose just on your card. Uh, and then a little leaf. Kind of odd. That's sometimes with stamp. I suppose you can put that on there. But it's almost like too big for the bird. Because it's like, oh. Um, that's kind of one thing with Stampin' Up. They'll do a, a series like this and then add a really weird thing like a leaf as big as the bird, you know. But anyways, I love it anyways, I don't care. So I got that set. Super cute, I can't wait to play with it for $2. You can't leave it in the store. Found another one for $2. This one has, I have a couple different, you know, they come out with one of these kind of sets about every year. But I really like these for like, um, like if you're, you know, just doing some background on a card or anything really a um, mixed media but look at how cute this one is these are 1999 cute little hearts and dots this one doesn't belong I put it in here because I'm gonna store them all together but that's when I bought a while ago at a garage sale for 15 cents um, anyways and then this bag so you got all those and then you get all these cute things. I don't think I don't think these are stamping up though. I don't know. Somebody can tell me if I'm wrong. But the, it doesn't look like they're blocks. So there's um XOXO Joy Hugs. I thought these would be cute for journaling and mixed media. Hello. Love and happy. So that's cute. Two dollars. This one was two dollars. I mean, this set at Goodwill would have been twelve dollars here. I'm not kidding. This little bird cage set or birdhouse set, that would have been at least six ninety nine or seven ninety nine. And they don't do half off ever. Well no they do. But, you know, everything's so picked over, you can't find anything. So, we don't go to Goodwill anymore. Plus, because I've complained before, they're supposed to hire people that have disabilities. And I've, I've seen one guy at one store that appeared to have a disability. I know there's some disabilities that are hidden, but I've never, I don't think they hire people with disabilities. And this is Holiday Hannah. Oh, I love it. 
I think I actually already have her from 1997. Gently used, never cleaned, no. Merry Christmas from Holiday Hannah. Cute little basket of flowers. That is really cute, pumpkin. So it's kind of a, yeah, Holiday Hannah um, state. Uh, Fourth of July. Watermelon, how cute. Can't wait to color these. Not with Copics. And then the heart for Valentine's. Super cute. And then what is this? Pizza? I don't know. What's that supposed to? Oh, a balloon! <gasps> cute! I could make a pizza for Scrubby. That's cute. A kitty? I love this set. Oh, cute Christmas tree. And then present. The balloon is adorable. That is really cute. It's your day. And then a little tiny heart. Thanks, that's cute, I like the font. Little star, oh I love it. Thinking of you on this special day, may only good things come your way. What's that? Oh. So this is a great set for, what is it? How much was it, two dollars? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Crazy. It's a crazy day sale. So this is super fun. I can't wait to play with it. I do have a big collection of primitive stamps. It's just, I'm like Eileen Burkett, you can't let it go. We have to have our cute little primitive stuff. It, they're just, you know, so whimsy and fun. All right, so there's that set. Plus, I love that it has the packaging, albeit it's kind of dented in. I think I can want, I don't know, I'll have to try to fix that. So there's those two, three sets. And then I found this one. Another $2 bargain. This was in a bag. I found, I, I keep, um, I keep these things from like other stamps maybe that I sell. I just like the containers to store. Two dollars again. So happiness is when you, what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. And that's from Gandhi. Dreams come a size too big so we can grow into them. It's the little things that make life big. And happiness always. Corny. In everything, give thanks. I like that. And then, why? I mean, then why not just put another sentiment? Stamping up. You know, that's what I mean. It's kind of like, they kind of get goofy on the end. All right, so there's that. Then I found, oh, geez, I got to keep a list of the movies I have because I bought Polar Express three times now. Obviously, I want a copy of it. Which, you know, I mean, they play it every year, but I, you know, for free. But I think, what if they decide we're not going to play it free? So then I get one. And then I got one last night. It's upstairs. So I just got to give it away. This is mine and Scrubby's. Um, when this came up, out, I think we both saw it about ten times. It was so, he took practically everybody he knew to it. 74, oof -da. Oh my goodness. Seems like it was ages ago. It's so funny if you haven't seen it. I think that the humor is still good. I loved this book. And I almost loved the movie more. Even though Reese Witherspoon is in it. Whom I like. But she kind of is. Oh, I don't know. She kind of can be a cuckoo. And I thought this would be kind of fun. Just some old 
classic westerns. Look at somebody kept track. This would be totally me. Sing Cowboy. Text Ritter. Good. This would be me keeping track of when I watched them all. So I'll just add to his list. And then I found this. These were all a dollar. Um, then I found this for a dollar fifty, and this is really awesome. Ooh, this will be good to use for journals and um, dip, you know. Ooh, cool. Maybe not. It's really nice, actually. I might just keep it and use my other one. See, I knew I'd do that. This is really a nice, colorful book, though. Because the one I have... I wish the spine was better. Well, there you go. The one I have is just one of those cheap paperbacks. So I might keep this from, and just re-glue the book on the cover. Yeah, I might just do that because it is really nice. National Geographic. I mean, see, I really didn't even really look at it. I just kind of went like this and thought, ooh, that'd be cool for blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Then I found, oh, I found some really nice tops. This place, it's so clean. You know how usually when you go into thrift stores, you can smell that old lady smell? Where it's like, you know, when somebody sprays perfume on synthetic fabric. And even though you wash it, it's just never going to get out of that fabric. Because synthetic fabric, you know, it's like spraying it on plastic. It's never going to get rid of that smell. But unfortunately, what happens is over and over and over... The perfume smell gets really stale, so we call it the old lady smell. And it's just, I ooh, when I smell it, I just was like, Ugh, I just can't stand it. But anyways, nothing smells like that in this store. They clean everything. And Scrubby found three really nice, like practically brand new polo shirts. I found two Jones New York, two... Um, Talbots, which is a really, I don't know if they're all over, but they're really, really high in stores here. And what was the other one? Oh, oh, oh. I have it on. What is it? I had to put it on. Kate's? Oh, no. I don't know what that is. There was another, oh, what is it? Jones, New York. Talbots. Oh, yeah. The last one was uh, Ralph Lauren. Anyways, for $5, the most expensive one was $7, and they had two of them. One was a black, oh my god, and the other one, oh, what was that? Coldwater Creek. That was gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's an oatmeal color, and it has black and silver sequins, and it's really thick on top, and then goes down, like, really great, gradually gets less. Gorgeous top. That was $7. Anyway, so then I found this cute. I'm not sure why Loggenberger would sell this. Like, I don't think it went into a basket. It's kind of for a tote, right? But I thought it'd be kind of fun to just use, you know, when you just want to, like, for the fair. When I go to the state fair, I don't want a big purse. So I can just throw my wallet and whatever in there. My mini donut bag and my wallet. That's all that's going to go in there. And actually, I get two bags of mini donuts. One when I get there and one when I'm leaving. All right, so then I found this. I kept looking at it. It was way in the back. And I like I like the color and why is it fringy? I was just kind of... And I could see this part and I was like... So finally I had to have scrubby get it because way in the back on the top. Not that I'm short. But isn't that cool? So I looked it up and the only thing I can find is Martyr Dam is a name. So it must have been somebody's little book club and they had bags made. Because I couldn't find anything anything on it. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I love how these straps are. Super cool. It's a little pocket inside for your library card. Super, super cool. I love it. And I'm just going to think it says martyrdom. But then, this is like the best thing ever. This was two dollars. Oh yeah, this was fifty cents. The Longenberger one. This was a dollar. And this was two dollars. How cute. Look at how cute our little drawers. And it's perfectly clean inside. 
does not smell. It's from Made in China. But isn't that cute? I love it. That's going to be so fun in the summer. Put my bikini in there. My bottle of suntan lotion. <laughs> oh, look at the even the little clothes pins. I love it though. Isn't that cute? So that's my little Halsey Walsey from the thrift store. I am not telling anybody where it is ever. It's our little secret. So thanks for watching. If you got any idea where this might be from, I would love to hear it and what this might be for. And if anybody wants a Polar Express copy, let me know. I'll ship it out. Um, thanks a lot. Bye.